For thousands of years, the Mekong River has served as a major transport route for people living and working along its waterway. The world's 10th longest river and its tributaries have provided a source of passage in a region where the rugged mountainous terrain often makes overland travel difficult. But the Mekong is often an unpredictable river to maneuver along, more than 4,000 kilometers of twists and turns. Extreme seasonal variations in flow and the presence of rapids and rocky outcrops in the middle and upper parts of the Mekong River make steering difficult. For long-time dwellers like Chuk Bukan, navigating the often dangerous waters from Luang Prabang to Hue Sai in Lao PDR was an unavoidable part of his travels. The partially shallow riverbeds in certain stretches of the river often transform the easier routes of transport into more dangerous ones. <laughs> For most of the locals, the constant trips on the river generally require long journeys through areas of rapidly changing conditions. Because of the region's annual rainy season, the water levels vary greatly between the wet and dry segments of the year. Low water levels in the dry season leave ships with no option but to use the deepest channel in the river or risk grounding or hitting a stony river bed. Without guidance, these channels can't be seen unless the vessels are piloted by seasoned captains with a lifetime of experience. But even then, accidents happen. Now navigators can use technology in the form of Global Positioning System, or GPS, to map a course and identify submerged hazards. The system is similar to car navigation, allowing the captain to follow exactly the safest path, which was pre-routed on the maps through intensive depth surveys. If he steers his ship on that line, he knows he is safe. The best path for wet and dry seasons can be drawn on a digital chart using advice from the skilled boat captains, providing a visual tool that will allow navigators to make sure they're on course and aware of approaching rocky outcrops or shallow sandbars. The system was developed by the Mekong River Commission, who since 2013 has initially been giving away GPS devices to ship captains traveling along the Mekong stretches between Luang Prabang in Lao PDR and Chiang Rai in Thailand. The MRC used to install physical markers to improve safety along these stretches, but they require regular maintenance and costly upgrades. With the GPS devices, pilots can now navigate more safely at night and during heavy rains without having to rely solely on the physical markers or their memory. By recording an ideal route with outer limits for safety and overtaking, it's possible to provide an accurate route while allowing for a margin of error. This system allows the navigator to keep the vessel on a predetermined track. In the future, the collected data will be combined with other geographical information that can be uploaded to handheld GPS devices for greater convenience and mobility. As international trade expands, the river has become an important link connecting the six Mekong countries of Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, China, and Myanmar to each other and to the rest of the world. <laughs> ซึ่ง
ถ้าเลยแห่งใหม่นี้น่าจะสามารถรองรับปริมาณสินค้าที่จะเจริญเติบโตได้อย่างน้อยก็สิปีข้างหน้าครับเรามองตรงนี้กันอยู่นะในอนาคตเรือต่างๆเนี่ยเท่าที่คุยกันตอนนี้ก็คือเรือจะต้องมีการติด <coughs> ติดตั้งระบบวิทยุสื่อสารนะครับติด GPS นะเพื่อเพื่ออำนวยความสะดวกตั้งแต่เรือออกจากต้นทางจนถึงปลายทาง In addition to the increased trade, the natural beauty of the river has attracted growing numbers of tourists from Asia and abroad. So as the demand grows, tour companies are working with experienced operators to develop the best methods to train new pilots while maintaining safety for the passengers. We have our own, our own, we have 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 our own. ก็ปรากฏว่าผมผมผมว่าได้ผลดีหลายๆคนยังอยากได้อยากจะได้เลยผมผมว่ามีนี่มันช่วยให้เราตัดสินใจได้ได้ดีขึ้นจากประสบการณ์ของกัปตันทุกคนมีอยู่แต่มนุษย์ก็มีพลาดได้เหมือนกันเนาะมีเครื่องเนี่ยก็ช่วยย้ำเออจุดยืนยันแน่นอนว่าเออใช่จุดนี้ As the MRC continues collecting geographical data for wider coverage of the region It moves forward with a uniform system that can be used by all. And for boat captains like Lee Jun Bin, who have been facing the river's challenges for decades, the increased safety factor is a welcome addition as revenue opportunities rise. My mother just cut a quick dinner. My mother most of them. Two years ago, my child was trying to learn to sew. He just hold a glass window sewing. The Mekong River Commission has facilitated trade and freedom of travel, enabling ships from the four member nations to navigate safely without frontiers. By implementing innovative technology, the MRC extends its ability to preserve safety and security for all inhabitants of the waterways. Safety is a, is a big concern to us. Um, why? Mainly because of, first of all, people. If you transport people on the river uh, by barge, you always transport a lot of people. So if you have an accident, if, if you have a major collision, you can talk about tens of, or sometimes hundreds of casualties. Uh, that, of course, is our main priority. Uh, another one is the safety of, of the environment. The biggest fear that, that, that people have of shipping is, is, is the use of, of tankers, use of, uh, of, of oil products, and in case it may go wrong, uh, eventually oil pollution that may result as a matter as, 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 um, from the accidents. So that we want to avoid it. The Mekong River Commission works with the governments of Cambodia, Lao PDR, Thailand and Vietnam. To ensure that future travel along the ancient waterway will continue to be a safe and viable method of transporting people and cargo to their destinations.